This is my favorite microchip. It's small enough to fit on the tip of your finger. It makes all kinds of colored patterns in the light. These areas are most likely for data storage, like RAM and ROM. And this area is likely where most of the computation happens. Here, you can see a model number on the chip. It says CECAND17. The letters CEC could possibly stand for Consumer Electronics Control, which is a feature for controlling HDMI devices. Here, you can see a closer view of one of the smaller memory storage areas. And here, you can see a dust fiber casting a shadow over the chip as it rotates. Here, you can see a close-up view of the largest memory area on the chip. And here, you can see a close-up view of the edge of the chip. These square parts are the bond points that will connect the chip to the outside world. The individual lines that you see here are traces that carry data and power within the chip. This busy looking area with crisscrossed lines most likely performs some kind of computation. The smallest features in this chip are barely resolvable in this image. Some of the shiny areas that you see are metal layers, while others are reflections off of the interface between semi-transparent oxide layers. Here's a closer look at the corner of the chip. Again, you can see the square bond points located here. 